Hello everyone and welcome to Club Car Reaction to Rangers 2 Hibs 1 in Armed Forces Day at Ibrooks. I am your host Scott Carney and I'm in a car with Jamie Lowe. Jamie, how are you? I'm very well mate, very well. Good day. Good day, I think I'm going to lose my voice so I apologise halfway through this if I do lose my voice. Fighting off the remainder of man flu and shouting at Rangers. Um, but... It was a, a, a game and a half, that one, to be honest. Um, Rangers put you through the ringer sometimes, they really, really do. Um, quick special mention to the armed forces at the start, though. It's always good when we have that at Ibrox, and it's always rather pleasing to see them um, abseiling in off the, the govern stand. It's a nice touch. Eh? Uh, we, we spoke about that as in what was going to... if it was going to be the same as, as what we've seen before, or um, something slightly different. You'd said about the, the cannon not, not being used again, but I thank I God because nice it makes me shut myself every <laughs> time it goes off. <laughs> Aye, a nice, nice touch. Yeah, very good touch. So set off a good atmosphere. Um, the place was kind of rocking to start with. In, into the game, um, the starting 11 was McGregor, mm. Patterson, Goldson made the lineup, Balogun, Barisic, Lundstrom, Kamara, Aribo, Wright, Morelos, and Hadji. Hadji up front. Um, nobody called that team to be honest mate um, A wee bit of a shock to see I didn't expect Patterson to to get the start ahead of ahead of Tav And possibly a shock not to see Davis in the team Aye, I think Patterson especially uh, I was I was surprised to see it line up um, Obviously been biding his chance um, to, to, to come into the starting lineup, But I think you know, this was built even by Gerard as being the you know top of the table clash. It was mm-hmm. such an important game, so you just expect to have as much as he has been poor recently to to captain the side and come in. But I Davis as well. But again, we've spoke about the amount of minutes he's had recently, so um, good to to be able to offload him. But otherwise, otherwise happy happy enough for the team. Yeah, it was happy enough for the team. Say no great shocks. Um, so end of the game itself, I thought Rangers started. Very well, to be honest, in the first kind of five minutes or so, I thought Rangers were great. Um, started off really well. Alan McGregor's definitely be on the just for men, though. Um, <laughs> I think he's definitely died his hair. Do you think so? I don't I never noticed. Yeah, I, I definitely think McGregor's died his hair. I need I, some I'm, of that, I'm positive, yeah, mate. I probably need some as well. But anyway, the first five minutes, I thought Rangers are started quite positively, to be honest. I thought we were okay. Sorry, just, just getting let out there. Um, I, th- I thought we did start okay, mate. And then the first real bit of anything from Hibs, a ball into the box that we let happen, it's a decent header and Hibs are 1-0 up. Aye, it was a well-taken goal, but very, very slack and not being able to stop the cross in the first place. And this bit, I think it was, it peeled off at the back post and headed across McGregor. had pretty much no chance to, to stop that as well. So um, we spoke about that on the way over to the car. It felt a wee bit like against the run of play um, as in we'd, we'd started the game well so it was a weird one as in obviously annoyed to see us go a goal down but um, it, it was a strange feeling because we, 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 were, we were the better team I think to start with I, I, I can't disagree with you mate I think we, we were the better team I don't think there's really any, any real doubt in it and it's just the fundamentals of defending let us down again and you're letting balls like that again at the box. It's a decent cross and it's a good header, but it shouldn't be allowed to happen as easy as it did and I think that was yeah. the most frustrating bit and it was one of the goals when it went in I just kind of, I kind of just shrugged my shoulders yeah. and I was like, okay, right, fuck, here we go because I, I immediately thought, well, we're just going to huff and puff here. It, the, obviously, the time wasting starts immediately pretty much from Hibs. Again, this is just a reoccurring thing that constantly happens at Ibrooks. If Rangers even do a smidgen of it, though, it's treated as a completely different way. And then um, we kind of huff and puff, I suppose. We try and get back in the game. There's a few nearly moments again, but the keeper's not really tested. No. Hibs, like you say, we're, we're really frust- frustrating. And, um... It's going to give my dad another heart attack, mate. I swear it. No wonder. Honestly, no he, wonder. Could, well, he can't cope it. Aye. So they, obviously they, they were breaking up play a lot um, with their kind of niggly fouls and, and time wasting, as you mentioned. So it was becoming really frustrating again because it was breaking down in the, the kind of first or the, the uh, latter third. Um, I first first half wasn't great. No, it wasn't great. And then comes a moment of absolute madness by Poltes. Of all people, would you expect a moment of madness from him? The ball's kind of, it becomes a 50-50 between him and Jordy Boat. Now, initially, mate, I, I will say it, from my position, it kind of looked like a 50-50 tackle, but 
having spoke to you, having to spoke to other people that have seen it on um, on the replay, it's a pretty horrific tackle he's went in for, and it's and a straight red. Stud, studs up. Um, it, it was. It was a really strong and wild challenge. Um, but I, I, I'd actually messaged my dad uh, immediately kind of afterwards um, when the Rebo was down to, to ask him, was that as bad as it looked? To which he came back to say, I, um, he'd obviously went in with, with studs up. I think Rebo was lucky, he almost anticipated and Got away um, I didn't make full contact, otherwise it would have been a really nasty um, injury. Yeah, I always say, see if a player gets up immediately and points at the ball. He's probably made an arse here. Right. Yeah, and that's exactly what Potty has done and he's been sent off. In all fairness to that referee today, apart from maybe not taking more action with the time wasting that was going on, I thought he had a pretty decent game all round. I thought he was all yeah, right. He was pretty, pretty uneventful in that sense from him. Um, again, end of the first half, it just became very frustrating from Rangers. It was again the nearly, it was nearly happening, it was close to happening, but they still, we, we didn't really test. I think Morelos had a free header from a corner, if I remember right, in the first half, and that was probably the best chance. So at half time, it was a weird feeling. I was kind of like, right, well, they're down to 10 men, but we know what we're going to expect from Hibs now, they're just going to shut up shop, they're yeah. going to try their hardest to frustrate the home crowd, try their hardest to frustrate Rangers, and um, well, we're going to need to bide our time anyway. Aye, aye. Um, <coughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm similar, as I wasn't sure what to feel at half time, because again, we had a lot of possession, but just not doing an awful lot with it, but the port has gone off, he thought, you know, hopefully we're going to go and, um, Make, make that advantage count Yeah, I spoke to Ali at half time And he was not best pleased about the way things were going Garbage, so he kept saying Utter garbage So What Scotia saying? Uh, I don't know It was quite hard to tell what Scotia was saying <laughs> uh, Scotia did say 3-1 at half time I got that out of me said I'll finish 3-1 um, But yeah, I was feeling a wee bit flat at half time Really, I just didn't I didn't know what to expect But into the second half And pretty much from the start Rangers were at it Like right. absolutely piled on the pressure look today was an improvement in terms of standards of performance still not where we need to be but the moment really came when Gerard decided to bring on Kamal Roof and it's, it's completely changed the game Nathan Parson put in the ball for him um, and Kamal Roof was at the back post it's a great finish and it completely lifted Ibrooks. I mean Parson was frustrating at times today he wasn't he wasn't great if I'm being completely honest he struggled but that ball for Roof was it was excellent absolute class it was excellent like you say Patterson did have a <coughs> quite a difficult game like I think like a lot of others he, he seemed to be taking a lot of kind of extra touches and yeah. losing the ball or his crosses went went great besides obviously the one you just mentioned for the goal um, some of his passing was going astray and even I think he'd misjudged a couple of passes that were played in front of him as well they went out of the park so um, I yep he had um, quite, quite a frustrating game sorry I was just dealing with my man there <laughs> um, yeah it was quite a frustrating game to, to be fair, um, from Parson, but the header was the ball for the header was absolute class, and it was all one way traffic. Hibs really didn't have anything to get out of, to get out with. They tried the hardest, but we were never really caught out. It obviously, becomes that nervous way, but they are thinking they're down to ten. If they score, I was going to become a pretty horrible place. Mm -hmm. But I thought the crowd were great. I thought the the team were great, and the character and the desire that we showed in that second half was brilliant. Again, there was another few nearlies, mibbies, um, kind of trying to break forward. There was one with Scott Wright, nearly slipped through Alfredo Morelos. Alfredo Morelos today, I thought, was absolutely tremendous. Uh, same as John Lundstrom. I thought John Lundstrom was great today in the middle of the park. I thought he absolutely ran the show, especially in the second half. Aye. But I did say to my dad, when um, that nearly ball, it was just around the halfway line that he slipped through for Alfredo, I said, Alfredo wants to score. Yeah. He's desperate to score. And lo and behold, the uh, ball breaks out to Barisic, works its way out to Barisic on the left hand side, he kills the ball in, and Alfredo's just waiting there, knocks yeah, it on the side post. Tremendous, Jamie. <laughs> it was a great feeling. Aye, it was, um, as you say, all those kind of nearly moments um, leading up to that goal, so I such, such a massive uh, a big goal to, to finish it off, and, and um, at that point, the game was pretty much done, as in hips went. No. Threatening. Um, they, I think they did come up with it. 
at one point. Um, but obviously, he rounded up there. Obviously, man of, man of the match was announced as, as John Lindstrom, but he was good. I thought Balogun was excellent at any point. Um, we were obviously we knew that Boyle's got a, a good bit of pace and was going to be. Um, he matched him. Uh, he was. Mm -hmm. Balogun was excellent. Um, marched him really well. Um, passing was was great. Kept it, you know, simple and straightforward. Um, Balogun was brilliant for me. Yeah, I could not agree more, mate. Um, I, I'm just delighted with delighted with Balogun. As you say, Rangers, Hibs did try to go up the park a wee bit. We gave away a few silly fouls, but we defended them well. McGregor really didn't have a a, a a real save to make, if any, if I can remember off the top of my head in the in the, the second half. And I think Hibs were all out of gas. Really, at that point, Rangers had moved the ball about quite well. Okay, a lot of it was from side to side from time to time, which is a frustrating bit, but we did our job. Absolutely, and they were down to 10 men, so they were, like you say, they were um, they were having to chase for us moving the ball about as much as it was frustrating to watch. <laughs> and you were obviously wanting uh, us to go and kind of kill the game off. Um, hips were tiring and they were, they were struggling to keep up with us. And it just felt last half hour, it was, just, it was a case of as much as we were willing the ball in it, was a, it really was a case of how many at that point because um, Hibs weren't really offering an, an awful lot going forward no, we maybe could have scored towards the end as well we kind of made we were kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place whether we were going to go for goal or not half the crowd were wanting Rangers to score another one half of the crowd which was me was just thinking just get the ball yeah. into the corner and just get the game over and done with yeah. um, but as I say, I, I'm, I'm more than happy with the character and the desire the team showed today. The performance might not have been spectacular, but the the, the desire and everything that Rangers showed today, the team as a whole, I'm delighted with. And Steven Gerrard came on the park at the end and pretty much ran round the entire pitch to every player, to every stand, giving it the, the big fist pumps, mate. I think he knows this is a this is a pretty massive three points for us. It is a massive three points, and that was, that was really good to see, as in... Um, <clears throat> you obviously touched on the um, pod through the week about the, the sort of steeliness of Gerard and his interviews recently. He's, he's obviously backing back in the team and he's using a lot of that language as in he refers to it as my team. Mm -hmm. It's not just a job for him, he, he, he loves the club and it's, it is his team. Um, and there's been a lot of criticism that's been justified that have come his way and, and the team's way. So it was good to see, uh, like you say, um, and congratulate all the all the players kind of afterwards and, and come up and you know appreciate the, the crowd and um, aye, it was it was nice to see. Yeah, and then we got I'm feeling it at the end again. Wasn't quite as good as the old form, but yeah. uh, it was still pretty yeah. <laughs> still pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we've got out there with a massive three points today. Um, thoroughly deserved, really, on the, the state of play. Um, we deserve to win that match. There's no doubt about it. But just due to our recent performances, you're a wee bit unsure if we were actually going to get it. But I am I'm absolutely delighted with the team today, and I'm delighted with the the character that they have shown. Um, could not be happier. A good finish to my weekend. Man of the match for you, Jamie. Uh, Lundstrom, who I did, I did predict. Oh, you did, but actually, I'll give you straight. You were, were walking away over to the game and you said 2 1 Rangers and Lundstrom would be man of the match. You did say that, mate. I'll give you that. Thank you. He's going to stick with Lundstrom, though. Yes. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give a massive shout to. Um, Alfredo Morelos today I thought he put a hell of a shift in he was dropping deep and some of his work he was doing well he was dropping deep was really good um, he looked very up for it today as well Kamar Roof has pretty much changed that game when he's came on yeah. Uh, but yeah John Lundstrom for me um, and Balogun we mentioned earlier was great but John Lundstrom just absolutely ran that show today um, and he deserves it he really does after the criticism that's becoming his way he deserves the praise um, when, he, when he puts in performances like that so that'll do us, um, yes, a, a happy day at Ibrox uh, on Forces Day um, and we get into the international break on a bit of a high now and clearly top of the league, um, so brilliant. Jamie, thank you for giving your opinions on today's match mate. You're welcome, we shall not be moved. We shall not be moved, so we are Club at 22, the Champions Podcast um, and I'll speak to you all next time, cheers everybody.